This is where I'm sharing with you the results of focusing on my Instagram for one month since I started a brand new Instagram account. If you missed my previous video where I talked about, you know, why I'm creating a brand new account, <laughs> definitely make sure that you check that out. But I'm really excited to dive into some stats, what I've noticed has been working and um, yeah, basically giving you some insights. So if you're growing your own Instagram account, maybe you've started from scratch, maybe that will help you as well. By the way, welcome. Glad you're here. I'm Camila. This is Heart Behind Hustle. And I'm really excited to talk to you about this thing I've been avoiding for a very long time, which is Instagram. It's my third Instagram account for Heart Behind Hustle, which is kind of like, oh my gosh, really, Camila? Yes, really. <laughs> but in that time, I have been able to make 28 posts which is mind blowing to me because my previous account that I had for about a year, I only made like 18 posts in a year. So I'm just, I just wanna say, I feel very proud of myself for being so consistent. So my goal has been to make a new post almost every day. So I'm focusing mainly on weekdays. I take weekends off most of the time. Since I started the account, I'm currently at the time of this recording at 641 followers, which is really exciting. I've made 28 posts, I'm following 86 people, and I try to be very selective with who I follow. So this is very clear, I'm not doing the follow on follow thing. I don't follow random people. I follow people I actually want to see my feed and I feel inspired by. And that means sometimes I follow someone and after a few months, I'm like, uh, a few months, after a few days, I'm kind of like, mm, maybe I, that isn't helping me. Since I started, I have gotten some clients, which is really exciting. So I was able to get one private client and that just literally happened from the transition. They saw my profile, checked me out and we got on the phone and um, she enrolled as a private client. What's been really awesome is that my Instagram account being built up and me having a link in the bio that is directing people to my main source of building my leads and getting sales for my program, which is my webinar. Uh, because I'm running Instagram ads, people will sometimes see the Instagram ad and then they wanna check me out and then they click through to the link and because my profile is built up, it is helping people convert easier, which is something I've seen since that one month of, of, of having my Instagram account. My conversion rate has increased on my webinar, which, is, which has been really great. And I've just been experimenting a little bit with what to say and it's been working. I think it's, it's been really great. A lot of people have said that they like the message and they like the mission that I have in Heart Behind Hustle. So that's been really fun. So within here, I have been mostly posting single posts, so just one image with either quotes or things that I've said, so it's not random quotes, things that I've said, uh, for example, you know, this post right here, truth bomb, which is, there's a typo, whoops. Thriving business is a combination of heart and strategy. I'm kind of integrating some photos of me throughout to break it up so it's not just plain text everywhere. And I also started experimenting a little bit with reels. So that's the reason why I wanted to create a new account and it would be, I would be kind of a hypocrite if I didn't try reels out and I did. And it's really incredible what I've been able to see. So you can see here I've made uh, seven reels and I actually make them originally on TikTok and then I move them over to reels. But it's been really, I mean, look at these views. The lowest viewed reel has 336 views, but the highest viewed reel has um, almost 6,000. And a lot, of, some of these reels literally will get 3,000 views within 30 minutes. It's like wild. And clearly Instagram is really pushing it in their algorithm and showing it to a lot of people. So I really wanna start leveraging reels even more, uh, especially this month and in 2022 as well. It just obviously takes a little bit of time to create because I don't want to create crappy reels and boring ones. So I am not as consistent as I could be with this, but hey, I'm not perfect, right? I can try. So definitely very reassuring. And I've had some people that have seen, especially the, the conversational ones that I've had. I, I made this one, which is kind of like a fun conversation. It's not really going off of any uh, trends. It's just like a situation that has happened before for me or for a client of mine. And I make a little back and forth conversation and people really like it and they comment and they share and and people then, what I, a message that I've gotten from some people is like, they see one of those videos and then they wanna binge the rest of the content, which I'm like, ah, I need more content for them to binge on. <laughs> but that's really reassuring that things are definitely working. So I also made two carousel posts, which I'm also, actually three, 
three carousel posts I made in that month, which I'm kind of kicking myself for. I need to make more carousel posts. I know that they're getting also more views and they're getting pushed by Instagram. But again, that's another post that kind of takes a little bit more effort to create. So my goal is to make more, but it is easier for me to create the single ones. And I'd rather, you know, just make good content in general. So that is something I'm focusing on uh, moving forward. But if we take a look at the insights over the last 30 days, let's take a look at the insights from the last 30 days. And um, you can see here that I have reached 36,000 accounts, which is awesome. 671 accounts engaged, um, grew by 641 followers. Some people have unfollowed normal, totally fine. I've, un uh, I've had 48 people unfollow and 550, oh, this is, yeah, 558 followed um so i did start this account with like a hundred or something hundred something people in here because it is a previous account that i used for a launch uh, so this is why those numbers are skewed because because of that uh so you can see that we have 20 posts seven reels that are popping in here and you can just kind of see based on plays really good results i think that looks very encouraging um real interactions same here pretty solid interactions and i've made 231 stories so i'm trying to be very consistent with my stories as well and really keeping an eye on how many story views i'm getting and um, i've had some good interaction there too so clearly it's just i'm a lot more engaged myself and uh, based on my post, you can see what's been working really well. So this graphic here has gotten the most reach, uh, which is just uh, a little graphic that I made. And a lot of these Twitter, I've been kind of getting on Twitter to share um, thoughts and then I put them in. I, I, I noticed that's a trend that a lot of uh, spe specifically finance Instagram accounts are doing, but I follow a lot of finance accounts. So I'm kind of like, I kind of want to do the same thing. So a lot of these are working really well and the least the least reached ones are the ones with me, which is, I don't know what I'm gonna think about that. <laughs> uh, but if we look at, um, let's see, saves. So this is one of the posts and you can see the carousels. This is why I wanna make more carousels because the two carousels have gotten the most saves so far, except for this one, which is, um, uh, just a Twitter that I made, a Twitter post that I made, uh, tweet, I guess is what they call them. <laughs> so this one's gotten a lot uh, as well. And this is something I worked off of. I saw it in a different industry and I kind of um, made it work for my industry, which has been really cool. So taking a look at follows, how many people followed me. So again, the carousel got me six. I got some people who just saw me and they, my introduction they followed me from there and then uh, a recent post is a recent post i got two followers from there and then another graphic so these graphics are working pretty well as well this one and this one and the twitter ones are not as effective i'm really surprised that no one followed me from the predictable income one but you know whatever and looking at shares so I know the shares numbers are off because of Europe. So uh, if somebody lives in Europe, you, you're not going to get accurate statistics on who's sharing it. But, you know, that, that's looking pretty good. So overall, like post interactions is probably a good way to look at in terms of comments, likes, all that stuff. So this is this has been my most popular post, it seems like, since I started. Um, this is looking pretty good too. So yeah, just share kind of things that come from me having conversations with clients and um, it's been working pretty well. So I don't necessarily have any goals in mind for what I want to achieve in terms of followers because I don't really think that how many followers you have matters that much. What I care about most is are people buying? That's what I care about the most, right? So if I'm getting some, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm fully booked with private clients, great. If people are buying my courses with more ease because of my Instagram, great. It's been actually really fun to show up for people that are already customers and clients because it kind of re-engages them and makes them more committed to doing the work that they've already signed up for, which is another great benefit because obviously everyone who buys my stuff, I want them to actually do the work. And that's probably the biggest hurdle is people buying and then not doing the work. So me actually showing up is helping people kind of get re-excited about like, oh, Camila really knows what she's talking about. Let me dive back into the course. So that's been working really great. So that's my 
a uh, little update based on this month and what's happened. So definitely some insights to keep in mind. I'm going to be really trying to make more carousels, make more reels and uh, yeah, going from there. Basically, my TikTok is not growing very fast at all. I do find that Instagram reels are a lot better for me than TikTok, but I also have like 30 followers on TikTok, so not not very mind-blowing, but who knows? Maybe I'll get better. <laughs> but that's definitely not my priority. My, pr my priority is definitely Instagram now because I am shifting away from Facebook a little bit more and moving into Instagram. So yeah, that's my little update. Hopefully this is uh, interesting. If you have any questions, let me know below. And if you want to follow me, please do because that's where I'm hanging out the most now. So would love to check you out. would love to chat. If you're interested in uh, chatting about how we can work together, definitely let me know and I will see you in the next video.